time. The figure eight dribble. We are going to figure eight dribble the basketball around your right leg with your right hand and meet your right hand with your left hand and repeat the motion dribbling around your left leg with your left hand. This will create a figure eight motion. Now I'm going to teach you how to do the spider dribble. Dribble the basketball, one in the front, one in the back, in a one-two motion. The ball should stay between your legs, just moving your hands. This drill will work on your fingertip coordination and your eye-hand control. Now we're going to do the sitting spider. Sitting on the ground, dribble the ball twice in the front and twice in the back in a one-two motion. This spider dribble motion can be done standing, sitting, and also walking forward and backwards in the same one-two motion. Now I'm going to teach you the creative chair dribble. Dribble the ball twice under your right leg and once under both legs. Then dribble the ball twice under your left leg and once under both legs. Once you have that motion down, you can speed it up and add your own creativity to your own creative chair dribble. This is another drill that can improve your fingertip drills and your eye-hand coordination. Now I'm going to teach you how to do the regular cross. Place the ball in your right hand and begin dribbling the ball side to side in the V-shaped dribble from left hand to right hand, from right hand to left hand. Repeat this drill until you can do it in the full sprint. Spin dribble. While dribbling the basketball, change directions using the spin dribble. Make sure you bring the ball across your body when you spin. Pivot your feet in the opposite direction. Zigzag drills. Dribble at a full speed, then quickly cross over and change directions. The zigzag drills is important for running in traffic in the game and also helps keep both hands equally effective. Now I'm going to teach you how to go behind the back. This is a behind the back drill. Change directions on the defender by going behind your back. This gives the defender less of a chance to steal a ball. As you improve your coordination, increase your speed. <laughs> 